Fibrosis is a phenomena where previously healthy tissue turns into scar tissue. It may be caused by infection, tissue damage or some other reason, which often remains unknown. In the worst case, this may result in organ damage and even death. My name is Vesa Kivinemi. I am a professor here in Oulu University. I'm, I'm leading the Oulu Functional Neuroimaging Research Group. Nowadays I'm looking at how the brain lymphatic system is functioning and the lymphatic brain clearance system is related to brain uh, gliosis which is actually the form of fibrosis in brain tissue. Brain tissue doesn't form fibrosis per se but it produces gliosis where the glial cells grow into the normal brain tissue and then obstruct the function causing neurocognitive problems. Currently at the University of Oulu, fibrosis-related research is conducted in 11 different research units at three faculties. I'm Reetta Hintala and I work as an associate professor at the medical faculty in University of Oulu. I study a protein called NHLRC2. The dysfunction of NHLRC2 leads to severe tissue fibrosis, so first by identifying the pathways and then by studying their regulation, we get important information about the novel basic mechanisms that involve NHLRC2 and lead to tissue fibrosis. Studying something that is currently completely unknown is challenging, but I find it highly motivating and inspiring. Fibrosis plays a significant role in several chronic diseases. Many of these diseases are becoming increasingly common with the aging of the population. I'm Aki Manninen, professor of cell biology at the Faculty of Biochemistry and Molecular Medicine. We study prostate cancer. We want to understand how normal and cancer cells communicate with their immediate microenvironment, in particular the so-called extracellular matrix. Most tumors arise from epithelial cells. Normal epithelial cells form nicely organized tissues. Every cell knows its place by sensing its surroundings. Cancer cells no longer obey these signals and they grow in unorganized manner, disrupting the epithelial tissue integrity. Therefore, cancer epithelium resembles a wound that tries but uh, is unable to heal and this leads to fibrosis. The fibrotic tissue in turn uh, promotes cancer progression thereby creating a vicious cycle. So we want to characterize the molecular machineries uh, that regulate cancer cell growth and fibrosis in prostate cancer. So the more we know about this machinery the more options we have to stop cancer cells on their tracks. The research generates data on the molecular, biological and epidemiological background of fibrosis in complex chronic diseases. The goal is to learn to understand the mechanisms of fibrosis and to recognize fibrosis at a very early stage. My name is Zhu Chen. I am an associate professor working at the Faculty of Biochemistry and Molecular Medicine, University of Oulu. My research focuses on immune system, specifically T lymphocytes. T cells play an essential role in host defense against a variety of pathogens. These regulated immune responses are major contributors to fibrosis. Understanding the role of T cells in inflammation and fibrosis is critical for developing new therapeutic approaches for these patients in the clinic. Inflammation and fibrosis are worldwide most common and even life-threatening diseases. Suffering from a serious illness in my early childhood, I have respected doctors very much. So when I grow up, I hope to use my knowledge to improve other people's health and reduce illness.